We're back. I, for those of you who are watching this on YouTube way later, who I can't talk to. And we're good to go. So, Rano Dittos. I think this is going to be our first Ditto on stream. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I know Horsehead's back. Who is this man? He beat me. I, I'm nobody is cheering for Dadpool all the way. Let's go, Dadpool. Go random. Go random, Rano. Pick, get a random color. Do it. There we go. Now no one knows. There's no counterpick. You can't counterpick the color anymore. The meta is too strong. Horsehead understands. He's too good. And he's using SBS's tag, mocking the man. It's <laughs> a horrible color. I'm so glad I told him to do that. All right, yeah, but everything's best of three. And we're going to see, we're finally going to see some frog on frog action. We're going to see the ditto. And we're going to see some, hopefully, really, really top edge guards that no one gets to come back from. I'm excited to see, like, three or two bubbles on the stage. And, like, both of them getting just shunted into each other's bubbles when they've got poison stacks on them. Oh! Oh, he goes for that juicy fruit, I think. I totally forgot. I don't remember anymore. It's a good thing SBS isn't here. He can't hear me. He doesn't know. Board smash. Neutral B. I'm so glad it's neutral B instead of side B. You guys are the worst. You guys, you guys, you're dirty minded, alright? Just, I just, I just want to commentate. <laughs> why do you guys have to, why do you, why, why? <laughs> did he kill him in the back air? How did that hit from down there? Oh, I can make this worse. Look at all the tugging that's going on. <laughs> They're both just like trying to lick each other, get each other ready before they go in for the kill. And these nairs just sticking the foot out. Ooh, back air sweet spot. And that'll take him out. And Horsehead takes his first stock. Dash stacks. Oh, these combos. Quick 40%. Tongue. Bubble. Juicy fruit. Up tilted. Look at these short hop up airs. <laughs> Barely outspacing each other. Toying with each other. Oh, gets him. He's in the bubble again. What's the follow-up? A single fair goes for a second one, but DI away he does get him out, even inside a bubble. Oh, another just, just gobbles him up. Om nom nom. And that you know what? These two are trying to just punish each other when they go for these tongues. When they go for these bubbles, and you know what? I would like to see better punishes. I'd like to see I'd like to see better follow-ups. Better chains and strings out of these things. Alright, we got chains, we got tongues, we got We got action. I, I don't know I don't know what, what else I can throw in here to to make this worse or better. Better it's a side event, and there's and and we got horsehead. I don't know if I can actually ruin this by by <laughs> What am I doing? Alright. I love that F-Tilt, by the way. That f tilt's amazing. Because uh, it's not actually a very fast one, because he just goes whoosh, whoosh. He has two of them. I'm not sure if the, it's double F-Tilt the same way uh, Ops's is, where you can opt to do just the first one, or both. I haven't exactly played very much Rano. Uh, Claren for life. Get down with the tongue. Oh! Barely outspacing. Punishing with needles. Poisons him. And then wraps him up, gets him in the bubble, throws him off stage. And I want to see what this punishes. Because it looks to me like Dadpool is just taking control. And even though they're both kind of taking it slow. Oh my god, as I say that. Dadpool just in a single moment just spikes him into oblivion. Just obliterates SBS. Or sorry, Horsehead, not SBS. There's no SBS. There we go. Much better. All right. Gobbles him. 
And it looks to me like Horset has switched to Claren. And we'll see how this goes, because now... Now there's not going to be quite as much trading with Hungs and a lot more uh, a lot more range, a lot more of those hopeful tippers, because you got to love those tippers. They, they really are the, the key to the matchup. Because uh, when you get that sweet spot, it just it just finishes them. There's just, there's just nothing they can do. They can't even fight at that point. <laughs> oh my god. I, I'm sorry, you saying he does... I don't see SBS. I don't see SBS at all. Ooh, that dash stack. Staying out of range. He's got that reach. Meanwhile, Bad Frog. Bad Frog has punishes and flexibility. Ooh, down special. Getting ready to counter. Getting ready to uh, parry, but doesn't... Nothing comes of it. Ooh! Slams it home, reacts quickly with that side B, gets a sweet spot dead center. Hits him right where he wants him. I, I, I love the sweeping up B that doesn't do anything when it lands. Like, it does, it barely buys you time to land. Like, more often than not, they, they can land before you do, and then they, they take advantage of you. Jab. Oh... Oh, grabs him. He's got full stack, so he's going to get a huge punish out of this. Oh, he wanted all of it. Forward smash, doesn't get it. Dash attack will chase. Horsehead lands that tipper forward air, and that takes stock one. These two are both playing super patient. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I said we wanted to rush through these, but these guys are happy to take it slow. These guys do not like to rush this kind of thing. Jabs. Jabs and down tilts. Forward smashes, gets him off stage. Doesn't pair. Ooh, doesn't get the range he wants. Was just too far away. And uh, Rano slipped out. Ooh. Forward smash. Will that kill? That tip. That tip is all he needs. <laughs> I'd love a co commentator right now. Like, I, I have thrown... Do you want to get on here, PKBS? I'll take that as a no. If I take that as a no, I mean you shook your head no and the, and the chat can't see it. Jab into forward smash. I like... I, I don't know how much further I can sink at this point. I'm... I'm <laughs> this is a great game. This is how I'm spending my Thursday. Oh. Ooh, get some out. Okay, so real, real serious, though. I would like to see Dadpool use a little bit more needles. Uh, I or we should call them like toxic spikes or whatever they are, but they're needles, kind of like sheiks from. <gasps> it's a bad punish. You can parry. I did that to SBS and he learned. Back air, not sweet spotted, or maybe it was. Too low a percent to tell. Ooh, and Tipper at the very, very edge of the reach. He's got so much height on it. It just he can manage to just snag just just the base. The very edge of the sword. He's got so much length on the. Just it's just too much. It's so hard to get over. <laughs> I should stop. You guys, let me know if I should stop, because I'm not going to stop unless you tell me to. Tower of Heaven. You're right. I, I Well, here's the thing. Horsehead could be wearing two masks. One that looks like SBS, and one that looks like Horsehead. He could be anyone underneath the SBS mask. There's no way to tell. Like, the fact that SBS is gone is just an absolute coincidence. You know who else is gone? Danny's gone. It could be Dan He He could be trying to trick us. He's trying to put the blame onto SBS. It was all a bait. It was all just to just to set it up. He, he, he's trying to frame SBS as Horsehead, but we all know that the only reason that Danny's been gone is because he's been training in secret to become the hero that we need, Horsehead. 
Espion living. Or, sorry, Horsehead. Horsehead living. See, I've already been convinced. I've already been tricked. Oh, no. That forward smash will kill s even from that side of the stage. And that was not bad DI. DI does not change depending on character. This is SBS's DI. Oh! Doesn't get the tip and he doesn't die. He's got to use the tip if he wants to finish him off. I, ooh, down tilt, jab. I love it. I love it a lot. I love watching this. I mean, what can I say? I, I, I love to watch in general. Oh, <laughs> that tipper. Is he going to spike him? Is he just going to go for that strong finish, or is he going to just work him up to work him up to a higher percent? Is he going to work him up before he goes to in for the kill? More tippers. More tippers. He's playing with him. And right now, Dadpool is just trying to find an answer, trying to set something up so he can, so he can take the lead again, get back on top. What? I, I see. I all I see is Horsehead and Dadpool, and I can't hear you. It is beautiful. You're right. Would you like to hop on commentary with me? Okay, cool. I think I'm still in brackets somewhere. I don't know. Oh, right, he left. Well, I actually, I have the power to update the bracket. Who'd you play and who'd you beat? Who'd you beat? Uh, ah, poor Zora. Rip Zora. Oh! We got last dock. We got last dock game three between Horsehead and, and Dadpool. So, I, I don't know who to cheer for. On the one hand, Claren. On the other hand, Horsehead. On the other hand, I don't want another person to lose to a man wearing a horse mask. Like, you can't win. Either Dadpool wins and has a Pyrrhic victory over, or not a Pyrrhic victory, has a half victory over a man wearing a horse mask, or he loses. And he there's no victory there because you lost to a man wearing a horse mask. Horsehead is, Horsehead's pretty spooky, dude. I, I, I wouldn't even be surprised. All right, I'm convinced it's actually Danny in disguise. I think Danny, who's been gone, has been training, and has now shown up as the elusive horsehead. It might be Junior Z too. Exactly. Oh. Oh, and Deadpool takes it over Horsehead. Alright. Shh. Oh, wow. That was that should not have been as hype as it was, but it was. Alright, who do we got? What what's the bracket look like? I got This this bracket apparently does Yeah, wrong bracket. Yes. Are we leaving? It is eleven o'clock, yeah, we should leave. Alright. Yeah, no, fair enough. In that case, I will be saying goodnight to all you guys. I hope you enjoy the commentary. Um, I have obligations to go to. Uh, people are relying on me to get them home so they can go to work. I also have work. We all have lives outside of this game, believe it or not. Um, at least we tell ourselves that. We, we, we lie to ourselves a lot. But... Uh, here's to you guys, here's to all of us, and I hope you all have a wonderful night. We will see you next week.